If you have a mobile smartphone or a tablet and you use the Camtasia editor, you're going to discover how super easy it is to transfer your photos and videos from your iOS and Android devices right into the Camtasia Project Media Bin through a free app with just a few clicks. And guess what? There are no wires required. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great video, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Let's dive in. TechSmith has the mobile app called Fuse that enables you to move your photos and videos from your mobile device to your favorite TechSmith desktop products, Camtasia, Snagit, or Relay. Today we are demonstrating this for the Camtasia editor. Please note that you can also capture new photos and videos with the app's built-in camera access, as well as draw freehand on top. To start, download and install the app onto your iOS or Android device. You can go to the TechSmith Fuse page and choose the appropriate link for download, or go directly to the App Store and search for TechSmith Fuse. Next. Make sure your mobile device and computer are connected to the same network accessing the internet. In my case, my desktop is direct connected to the network via the router and my Samsung S7 Edge Android phone is connected through Wi-Fi. Before you're able to transfer files wirelessly to the Camtasia desktop, you need to be able to have the mobile device detect where to send the photos and videos to, that is, the current project's media bin. This is communicated via a QR code with the information. Navigate to the File Connect Mobile Device menu option in the Camtasia desktop. Up pops a dialog box that shows the QR code. This QR code is now available to the mobile device for scanning. This step in the process only needs to be done the first time you connect the given mobile device to the desktop over the network's Wi-Fi. The Fuse application will retain this information. Next, open up the Fuse app on the mobile device so that you can create a photo or video or take a library photo or video for transfer. Fuse opens up into the camera mode. Take any video or picture clips you desire and then click on the right arrow to go to the share screen. If you don't care to take any pictures or videos but you just want to transfer video or photo files that already exist, just press on the library icon at the bottom. There are three library choices. Fuse Library, Gallery, and Screenshots. The Gallery and Screenshots libraries are links to other files on your device, and this means that you can create photos and videos with any of the hundreds of apps that you can get in the Google Play Store, and all those items are accessible for import into Camtasia as well. Select whatever number of videos or photos you wish to transfer, and then click on the Share icon in the top right-hand corner. After you press the Share icon, you're shown another screen that shows you all the selections ready for transfer. Now, click on the word Share in the top right corner and you're shown the TechSmith application destination options for the transfer. Click on the Camtasia app icon in the bottom left corner. If you're not already connected to the Camtasia desktop, the View Scanner will show so that you can scan the QR code that is showing on the Camtasia desktop. If you open this menu item to create the connection, Again, this is just for the first time this mobile device is being connected to the desktop over the Wi-Fi. Once the scan is complete, the scanner screen disappears and the files you selected are automatically dropped into the Camtasia Open Projects media bin. All subsequent times, as long as the connection is still alive, you won't see the scanner screen displayed again by the Fuse app. In other words, you just select the video and photo clips to be transferred from whichever source, that is video or photo taken from inside views or the library options. And when you press share, you're just prompted with the TechSmith application destination choice to make, which in our case is the Camtasia desktop. As long as the devices remain connected, you can repeat the process. Now let's quickly look how to make this happen for iOS devices. First, be sure that you have the Fuse application installed on your iOS device. In this example, I'm using the iPad Mini 4. If you need to, move back in this video to where I covered the download instructions. Next, open the Fuse application. 
This opens inside views to the camera mode from the get-go. Take a few quick photos or videos so that we have something to demonstrate the connection and transfer. Click on the arrow where the picture was added in the top right area. The next dialog gives you the choice of TechSmith apps to send the images or video to. Select Camtasia. Now, this would normally send the picture over to the Camtasia Open Project Media Bin and you're done. However, since it's the first time to connect, we need to scan the QR code on the desktop as we did in the previous example for the Android device in order to get the location information that the Fuse iOS app needs to deposit the file. Once the scan completes, the dialog disappears and the file drops into the Open Project Media Bin in Camtasia on the desktop. It's that simple. The Fuse app then returns back to the camera mode and you can continue to take more pictures and videos to send or even go into the Fuse library to single or multi-select items for transfer. Once you have selected items, the share icon appears in the top right hand corner and if you tap that, you will see the complete set of share options on the device. Next, just find and choose the Camtasia app icon and tap it to have the transfer completed. There is also an import option on iOS devices. Through that, you can grab whatever you want from your camera roll, select it, and it gets added to the Fuse library. And as shown above, you can then tap to select the item you wish to transfer to the Camtasia desktop, and then just tap on the share icon, and then find the Camtasia icon, and again, tap there to complete the wireless file upload. Wow! Using mobile utility apps like TechSmith's Fuse provide that added convenience that may additionally inspire you to use your mobile device for creation more often. If you want more cool tips for video creating and you wish to create better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe icon on this page so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.